graph the piecewise defined and step functions using the TI-83 calculator. Graph the piecewise defined function. F of x is equal to negative 3 minus x if x is less than or equal to 1. F of x is also equal to negative 3 plus 2x if x is greater than 1. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. First, we'll enter the function into the calculator. So we'll enter the y equals section. We must encase both the function and the inequality in a set of parentheses. So we'll enter it as the follows. The first piece of our function is negative 3 minus x. And we'll enter that in as negative 3 minus x. I'm going to close off my set of parentheses. I'm on a, also going to put my inequality in a set of parentheses. The inequalities can be found in the test feature of the calculator. It's a yellow function, so it's second in math, which is test. The inequality that we should choose is less than or equal to. That's our sixth option. A one and a closed parenthesis. For the second piece of our function, I'm going to enter that in y sub 2. And here we have negative 3 plus 2x. I'm going to close off my parenthesis. And our condition for x, if x is greater than 1 in parenthesis. We must change the calculator mode to dot mode. And in order to do so, I'm going to go back to my first, the first piece of our function. I'm going to scroll to the immediate left. And I'm going to click enter six times. Notice that it changes from connected mode to a dot mode. I'm also going to do the same thing for the second piece of our function. So now we have dot mode. Next, we're going to graph. And here we have the piecewise defined function. Let's take a look at another example. Let's grab the piecewise function. f of x is equal to x minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 4. f of x is also equal to 3 if x is greater than 4. So once again, we'll enter the y equals. And we'll clear out our functions. Notice that once we clear our function, it resets our calculator to the default connected mode. So we'll enter our piecewise function in a set of parentheses. Close parentheses. Our condition for x is also in a set of parentheses. I'll do the same thing in y sub 2 for the second piece of our function. x is greater than 4. And I'll close my parentheses. Next, we'll graph the function. But before we graph, remember that we must change the mode of our calculator from connected mode to dot mode. And now we shall graph. And here is the piecewise defined function. Next, we'll graph the step function f of x is equal to the greatest integer of 2x. Next, let's graph the step function. f of x is equal to 2x. So we'll enter the function into our calculator. So we'll enter the y equals, and I'll simply clear out my equations. Next, we'll enter the equation, and here are our keystrokes. The greatest integer function is located under math. I'm going to scroll over to number. And our fifth choice is our greatest integer function. It gives us a begin parenthesis. I'm simply going to place in 2x and close my parenthesis. Next, remember, we must change the mode of our calculator to dot mode. So I'm going to scroll to the far left. And I'm going to change the mode of my calculator from connected mode to dot mode. 
And next I'm going to graph. And here we have the greatest integer function 2x.